All right, so we have our willing victim and we're gonna go right out to the top of that hill. It's probably gonna be about 300 yards and we're gonna try our hand at having some big boar fun. Cause Norm, what do you got? I got the uh, Hudson pile driver. And that's 457. 457 I, I got from Rick Ream. And you're shooting? 350 grain. <laughs> you guys should see these slows. We'll show them to you because it's too cool not to show them to you. But, and I'm going to be shooting my 257, which I also got from Rick. And uh, I got that tuned up nice. And we're going to see what we do. Uh, we were going to put it out maybe a little bit further, but those 350s, man. They, <laughs> they arc as cool, though. You can see them with the naked eye. So, yep. They look like cruise missiles. <laughs> yeah. Let's blow this dude up. The following is a list of companies that we've been using since the very beginning. And now, they actually help us provide some of this content for you guys. We'd love it if you would show them some support. Perfect. Perfect. So here we are. We've got Norm's pile driver and my Texan. And this little beast <laughs> is not suppressed yet. It's supposed to what, come tomorrow. Yeah. So it is loud. <laughs> my uh, my brother was walking by when we shot it the first time, and he was like, <laughs> "Not cool." <laughs> and um, I have the Ronin on that. I had the Emperor, but I don't think it liked how heavy the Emperor was. Uh, really likes this Ronin. And you're shooting the NSAs, so am I. And I'm tethered up. Uh, I got very simple reg set up, uh, but with a couple oddball fittings because I wanted it to just work off my fill whip. Um, Tom at High Pressure Pneumatics really helped me out with that, so that was cool. And running side shot scope cam, of course. Let's get it. Now, against my better judgment, yeah, I'm gonna let you shoot at it first. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let me just get the scope cam up. All right, it's going. I'm not holding any wind at all. Okay. You ready? Hey, hang on. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Say goodbye to the pumpkin. Oh, you needed wind, brother. I did need wind. That was perfect height, though. It was. All right, my turn. Yes, sir. I'm going to give it uh, two and a half. Okay. All right. Ready? Here we go. Oh, uh, I didn't even see it. Me either. Well, that's lackluster. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going to give it five MOA of wind. Here we go. Oh, oh you what'd you need, six? You needed six again. <laughs> well, it looks like the old Air Force has a chance to redeem itself. Oh. <sighs> All right, here we go. Here we go. I'm holding four. That hit the post. No, I think that hit pumpkin. Oh, do you? I think it hit pumpkin on top of post, maybe. Oh, okay. Because I saw the post wiggle. Yeah, the, and I saw it splash down lower, right? Okay. So I'd call that a maybe graze, yeah. but either way. It's waiting on you. All right, here we go. We're going to hold six. A win this time. And one elevation. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, sure it did, bud. 
That pumpkin wants to live. I'm gonna have to give it another one. <laughs> we are <laughs> definitely not long range hunt ready yet. But, no. but this is how you get there. Oh, yeah. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. Vehicle behind us. Okay. Ready. Oh, oh took the stem it. right off. I held a little. Shot. I held a little bit high. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, that went right where I thought it was. That's wow. cool, That's man. How did that not roll it? Oh, we've got just the one hit then. Just oh, the one <laughs> that took the stem capper. off. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Gave him a mohawk. All right, we got to get this. We're not going to oh, yeah. bore you guys with shot after shot after shot. Yeah, but we will show you when this gets hit with the pile driver yeah. or another good hit with the 250. And it could be the end of next week. But we will show you. <laughs> Where's the stem? Did you see it? Oh my God! It flew straight back. Did it? Yeah. Got ripped off. That's cool though. That 257 is still packing a punch. Yeah. Oh, Look at that yeah, damage. Man. <clears throat> right between the eyes. That's a T zone shot. That's what I was going for. Norm really put the pressure on me. You guys probably didn't hear him, but he said, uh, knock the stem off. <laughs> and look what he did. He knocked the stem off. It really just popped. That's cool. So, anyway, the next shot you see will be another hit. You're not seeing things. <laughs> Norm stuck the stem back in his head, so <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> and I'm going four. Hit. Oh, yeah, I was going to say. Hit. Yeah, yeah man. Oh, oh. Are you kidding me? I don't know, all three. Ooh, it smacked the bottom of it. Oh, hit the wood, I think. Hit the pumpkin. Hit. Dude! This just likes to be held light. Yeah? I've been squeezing this gun all wrong. You hit it. You hit it. I lost it in my scope too. <laughs> yeah, you left edged it. It looked like it was good uh good height and left well, edge. I don't think there's any doubt which one was the 457. That one right there. You want to talk about a hole. Jeez. And it like cracked it all the way around. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so the main reason why we decided to actually start shooting the big boys is because we got this Alkin W31, this thing, sick. It really Just is. Just awesome. Um, Justin hooked us up with Alkin uh, from Utah Air and uh, asked us to review this. And so far, I mean, I am just blown away. So um, we gotta run it for about two minutes, warm it up, cause it's cold, and then we'll get to filling. Don't have to uh, get 
give it a break like you do with like a Nomad, for example. Um, Nomad and silicone spray all the time, which is nice. It has auto drains, so it just blows the, uh, the extra moisture out on its own. You can see from being wide open to closed, it's already going up. And once we get that up close to the bottle, then we will start filling an actual tank and that'll take about six minutes. So now we're letting pressure into the line and then we'll open the bottle. It'll actually fill that. get a thing so walk away do whatever you want in about six minutes we'll stop pumping. and that's it auto stops so now we'll close up the bottle I'll tell you something it takes a second to get used to that auto stop thing Yes, it does. <laughs> Especially if you've been in a war zone. <laughs> it's a little like, oh! Then that's clear. And that bottle is all set to go. And another one. Three, two, done, done, done.